friends welcome back to another weekly vlog i was so torn on whether i wanted to pick up my camera today or not i've just oh, what am i saying i've had a really sad day today <laughs> and on one hand i was like oh i don't want to pick up my camera i don't want to bring my like sad negative energy into the vlog but then the other part of me is like it would be really nice to just pick up my camera and like feel like i'm spending the day with someone <laughs> and like trying to make light of the situation and like i feel like vlogging will make me enjoy my day a little bit more so here we are i just have some things going on in my personal life in my love life <laughs> that hurts a lot and i'm sad today so that's where we're at but i don't really have time to like sit around and mope about it i have a lot to do so i'm gonna put my headphones on i'm gonna play sad music obviously to make myself feel worse um because i love self sabotaging myself i have washing to do i need to clean my house and i need to pack because tomorrow i fly out to melbourne which is honestly really good timing i'm going to celebrate one of my besties Gemma, her 30th birthday so i'm so excited to see her that will make me feel so much better i get to have a big mum hug with her mum who is is basically my mom I'm very excited to go but i've had such a busy last like weekend and few days that my house is a mess and i haven't started packing so today is going to be a very big productive day yep <laughs> when i tell you there is nothing i want to do more than sit on the couch and put on a sad movie and ball my eyes out i really mean it maybe i can do that later tonight if i get everything done in time we'll have to see i took winnie for a really nice big walk this morning so he's been exhausted i also think he knows that i'm sad because he's been so clingy and like really really sweet this morning which like oh breaks my heart like i don't know how i ever lived my life without him so welcome to the vlog sorry about the sad energy but thank you for keeping me company like, this is really for, for me today, and I really appreciate it. You being a really great friend for me today. <laughs> Because the address is, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, okay, this is from a jewelry, com jewelry? jewelry company. Kirsten Ash, I think that's how it's pronounced. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful. I've actually been after a new pair of hoop earrings that have a little pendant dangling off them. We've got plain little hoops as well. I never have too many. Oh my gosh, necklaces. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. These pendants have shells on them. I really don't know if you're going to be able to see. Shells like imprinted on them. And this necklace has a matching little pendant to the earrings. It has a shell on it next to a little pearl. That is so cute. And then this is the other necklace. How adorable. I literally want to put on the pendant earrings right now. That's what they look like in. I'm obsessed. They're so cute. And a little shell. <laughs> That's a bit of me, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. My vacuum is currently charging and I need a little break from cleaning. So I'm about to head out and run some errands. I love you so much. I'll be back later. I need AA batteries. I need a new bag of dog food so that Winnie doesn't run out while I'm away. And then I want to buy the book Powerless that I just read recently. Ideally, I'd love to find two copies. I feel like it's kind of hard to find at the moment so we'll see if i even find it to begin with but i've ordered Gemma's birthday presents and they haven't arrived yet which is so annoying so i'm just gonna have to ship them to her once they arrive but i feel like i can't rock up empty-handed and i've been convincing her to read powerless and she's on a book buying ban so i'm gonna buy her the book if i can find two i also want a copy for myself because i loved it so much that i need to reread it and annotate it myself because i kind of haven't stopped thinking about it since i read it there's also a new queer romance that's come out recently a sapphic romance that i am yet to see in store and i need to go and buy it because it is so cute we're on a mission to find a few things that i have low hopes that we will find but we'll see how we go proud of myself for how much I ended up getting done today. It was one of those weekends where I was so busy and I had so many people in and out of my house. Well, hello. That my house just got so messy and 
<gasps> I hate how much my house and like my surroundings affects me because if I'm already like not doing well, my house being messy sends me over the edge. So I finally managed to give my house a big deep clean today. I did so much washing. I've packed my suitcase. I've got Winston's stuff all ready for tomorrow morning and I'm, I'm feeling fairly good. You know when you cry so much you just know that you're gonna have a great night's sleep? That is how I'm feeling tonight. But I'm gonna read until I can't keep my eyes open. I'm really not far into this book at all and I need to get a wriggle on because book club meeting is next week <laughs> and I, I, I need to read. Good morning! Good morning! I have been in Melbourne for a few days and been the absolute worst vlogger ever. Now that we're done with that, uh, you want to run again? again? What you've missed. A huge day of errands. And then the party. Wow. It's not like this is your job or anything. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Spent all day really on the couch yesterday. We had a hungover barbecue. We did. It was delightful. I was hungover yesterday. Gem's hungover today. It's a bit I'm delayed. not hungover. I just feel like I've like... Look how like puffy I am. <laughs> like I feel like yesterday I was glowing and I felt great after no, like... You were so bouncy. Going to bed at 2.30 a.m. Like I was so solid. And then today I've woken up and I'm like, oh, I feel like I've been punched in the face. <laughs> we hate to see it. But I'm about to go get my sweat on and I feel like that's going to make me feel better. Yeah, Gem's dragged me to strong. I've done like maybe two strong classes in my life and I thought I hated them, but then and the one we did the other day, I actually really enjoyed. Slay. Slay. Two in like four days. Yeah, and I haven't really worked out. I feel like I was a bit off my game before Korea and then obviously didn't train in Korea and then I haven't been on my game since coming back. So I was expecting to be so sore. Yeah, it was we very like, it was an intense class and yeah. we weren't that sore, which I'm like, that makes me feel like I'm very fit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, did I not push hard enough or am I just a weapon? I feel like we were going hard. Yeah, I was trying really hard. Yeah, I was trying really hard yeah, too. Yeah. We're going to do strong this morning and then we're going to go and run some errands and then we have some friends coming over for a little picnic of afternoon. Just really dragging out the birthday celebrations. Yeah, as you I should. I haven't even had my actual birthday yet. My actual birthday is tomorrow. And you've been celebrating for three days. Literally. <laughs> I love it, as you should. Which is fun. It's like... She's slaying. I thought you said you were full. I am. I'm looking at wine. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, then. Get on. I'm it? so full. How good was your dinner? So good. Oh my gosh, why are your hands so soft? Goodness gracious me. No. Are they? Can you put the heater on for a little bit, honey? Dinner was 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, same. Literally phenomenal. And dessert was 10 was out of 10. Was dinner 10 too. out of 10 for you, Jack? Yeah, yeah, it was. So good. <laughs> goose one, goose two. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> I'm back in Queensland, guys. I feel so sad. <laughs> 
so sad about so many different things and I've tried to have like such a grey morning this morning and I have and it has like brought me a little bit of joy. I slept in, I went for an ocean swim, I took myself out on a little breakfast date, I had Oakberry, I had a coffee, I read my book, I listened to the Parent Trap soundtrack, I listened to my favourite Taylor Swift songs, I washed my hair, still feeling a bit sad. But I've just driven to Soph's house. Rachel and Lang, I think, are already here because we have book club. I literally finished the book this morning. I can't wait to talk about this book with them because I feel like I have so many thoughts, but they don't make sense. And I feel like once I talk about them with the girls, it'll all make sense. Hopefully, that's the case. And I feel like this is exactly what I need right now. Like some good quality time with some of my best friends. Let's go eat and talk about books. I'm excited. since a book club montage. So for now I've decided to try and see if I can tell the difference between coconut sugar and Pepsi Max because I feel like Rachel had the realization first and then we've slowly agreed that Pepsi Max is Loki a bit better than <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pepsi Max is a little bit better than coconut sugar, which is crazy because I've been such a coconut sugar advocate for so long. Um, and I got some Pepsi Max with lunch, so we've decided we're gonna have a little test if I can tell the difference. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm scared. No, like I literally think I know. Really? Just by smelling it. Oh. Yeah. This is Pepsi. I haven't seen anything. That's Pepsi. Yeah. Wow. It's a, such a distinct can difference. Smell smell? Yeah, yeah, I can too. Like that's not coconut sugar. And that's better. Oh, oh. it's it. Wow. Like you really. I thought even that. I got that. Yeah, like straight away. It's like more flat, so less fizzy, mm. and like a bit sweeter. I wonder mm. if I'd be able to tell the difference between coconut and coconut sugar. And Pepsi and Pepsi Max. Oh, true. Oh. Next time. <laughs> Tune in next week. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I can't even tell you how much better I feel crawling onto my bed like that. It's disgusting. How much better I feel right now than I did at the start of this vlog. I was just editing a little bit of it and I'm like kind of embarrassed. Like I kind of want to delete the whole thing because <laughs> she feels like a girl who's very far away and not here right now. But I mean, my feelings are valid. Don't get me wrong. But I just they really feel so good right now. Ooh. Also, oh my God, let me go get, let's have a book chat right now because... I chatted a little bit about this book in my vlog last week and I was saying how I was going in with really low expectations. There's a plane. I know that this is a very popular book and I avoided listening to anyone talk about it. I didn't want to know anyone's opinions because I kind of wanted to go in blind. But my expectations were low because the blurb like didn't really speak to me and I had no idea what I was really getting myself in for. This book is five stars from me. It is so good and I have not stopped thinking about it. I would say it took me maybe like a quarter of the way through before I was like hooked but once I was hooked every minute of every day that I wasn't reading I was thinking about the characters in the book. This is also my first general fiction read and I think I want to do a little bit more general fiction reading in the future. If you loved this book and have read books that give the similar feeling to this book please let me know. The characters in this book felt so real in the best and the worst way possible like you really just got to see all of their flaws but you loved them for it regardless. This book literally broke my heart. I was about to say and put it back together again. I don't feel like it did put it back together actually. I don't know if this is a common feeling but the way my heart felt after watching the movie Perks Being a Wallflower, I haven't read the book, I feel like it might be a very similar feeling, is the feeling I felt finishing this book. It is so heart touching. The back says a story of friendship, rivalry, fame, creativity, betrayal, tragedy, and perfect worlds and imperfect ones. And ultimately I need to connect to be loved and to love. And like, I know that that doesn't make sense, but that is like the best way to sum up this book. It is so good. I'm holding it so near and dear to my heart. I loved it so much. And these characters like are real. I don't feel like I often finish books and like feel like these characters are real people in a real world. They're kind of like how you feel like Daisy Jones and the Six, though that is a real band and those characters do really exist in real life. This is a similar feeling. Like these people are real and they're making games in LA and you can't convince me otherwise. And then Rachel chose our next book for book club the month of October. It's called Five Survive. I've never heard of this before. It's a YA crime thriller um, and it's the same author that wrote A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I haven't read but I've heard amazing things about. So I'm really intrigued to read this. I... 
How many pages is it? I don't want to read anything. 370, which is a great length. And I don't want to read anything. I shouldn't. But the book is split up by the hour because the book spans over one night. So I'm really intrigued. So this is my current read. I think I just have so many books I want to read and I don't know what order to read them in. But I think I want to start Throne of Glass very soon. But I'm scared. I'm scared of the huge commitment that is that series. So we'll see. But that's my, my little book update. I'm so happy to be home with my little man. Hi, everyone. He had the best time with Auntie Rachel while I was gone. He's very on edge today. A little anxious man, aren't we all? I also got some packages that were waiting for me when I got home from Melbourne. So I ordered some Christmas pajamas. Cotton on is a sleigh because they have, I feel like up to a size like 26 online, but it's not a full blown sleigh because they don't stock those sizes in store. You're so close in saying that I did want the Christmas pajamas, so I did buy them. Is this not the cutest little Christmas pattern you've ever seen in your life? Like I need bed sheets that are this pattern ASAP. I really hope that this fits. I got a size 3XL. I really was guessing. I <laughs> would love to go in store and try them on, but it's fine. Let me try them on right now, actually. Oh. My god, are these not so cute? 3XL fits quite well. They're naturally oversized and I'm obsessed. That pattern is literally so cute. I also got a matching linen set. I've had white linen pants from Cotton On for a really long time and I love them and I've wanted them in black. So I finally picked them up and I had a matching shirt, which I feel like is also a quite big sleigh. I can't stop saying the word sleigh and I know it's embarrassing and I know it's chuggy, but Gemma wouldn't stop saying it. So now I can't stop saying it. Matching shirt. Let me put it on. Okay. Yep. 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 This is cute i've been loving oversized button-up shirts and wearing them like this for just little like boob tubes or like my name is doug and stuff backing or little singlets or tanks underneath and this is giving it the exact vibe i wanted it to give this is cute i also have a package from my faves at gymshark but i do feel like most of this is not for me i ordered some of my friends and family a bunch of gymshark stuff which is one of my favorite things to do alex yeah i didn't get anything for myself so that's a boring haul for you so sorry i'm going to a spooky night at sea world tonight which i didn't even know existed like i knew movie world did spooky nights but my brother his wife their friends were going they extended the invite to me so i'm fifth wheeling um yep but that's tonight but i'm gonna drive to my hometown drop my dog <laughs> my dog you know his name and then we'll drive together and then i'm gonna stay there tonight spend the day with them tomorrow go through some family tomorrow and then come home and that'll be like my weekend i've scratched my head and now i have a huge red mark on it so i need to pack and then get ready for tonight but i just have like an awkward amount of time like i don't need to leave for another two hours there's a mark on my lens hope you've enjoyed that whole smudgy clip we hate to see it i don't know what to do okay i'm about to run out the door but i wanted to show you my outfit before i leave this is the set. I've put my white connies with it. I love it so much. I feel so good. I'm going to leave my vlog camera at home and just enjoy some quality time with my family this weekend. This vlog is very unintentionally been over a span of two weeks. Been a bit of a roller coaster, but at least we're ending it on a good note. But thank you for coming along with me and being a friend to me for the last two weeks. I appreciate it so much. Sending all of my love and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Mm -hmm.